the Lock 3 Series 10 Watt Broadband Transmitter by Vivax Metrotech is a rugged, portable, multi-frequency transmitter with selectable induction and direct connection frequencies, signal direction mode, fault find, and true resistant measurement up to 1 mega ohm. Packaged in a lightweight, rugged, ergonomic housing, the transmitter provides consistent current output in direct connect, clamp or induction modes, and protects against incoming voltages up to 240 volts. Press and hold the power button to power up the unit. Once the unit powers up, it will begin to transmit a signal. The transmitter has three transmitting modes, which are automatically selected depending on which accessories are connected. Induction mode, direct connection mode, and clamp mode. Induction mode uses the internal antenna to induce a locating frequency onto the target pipe or cable. Induction mode is automatically selected if no connection accessories are plugged in. An icon indicating induction mode shows up on the display. Direct connection mode is automatically selected by plugging in a connection lead to the output socket. An icon confirming this will be shown on the display. The direct connection lead consists of two clips. A red clip which is to be connected to the conductor, and a black clip which is to be connected to a suitable ground. Clamp mode will automatically be selected when a signal clamp has been inserted into the output socket. An icon confirms this on the display. A clamp is generally used when it is not possible to access the conductor to make a direct connection. The Lock 310TX transmitter has a number of options available to the user. You can cycle through these options by pressing the information or I button. The first option is the volume control. Pressing the plus and minus keys will allow you to increase and decrease the volume setting as well as mute. Pressing the I key again will take you to the LCD contrast control. Use the plus and minus keys to adjust the LCD contrast. The Lock 310TX transmitter is supplied with a predefined set of transmit frequencies. The most commonly used frequencies will be preset by the factory. However, additional frequencies are available through the Frequency Select menu. Press the I key until you get to the Frequency menu. Use the plus and minus keys to cycle through the menu. You can add and remove frequencies by pressing the F key, which will place an X next to the enabled frequency. These frequencies can then be accessed on the main menu by pressing the F key. The final option screen shows a number of product information, such as the serial number. The Lock 310TX transmitter can be linked to a receiver. This is an optional feature and requires the transmitter radio link to be installed in both the VLOC3 Pro and the Lock 310TX. It allows the transmitter to be controlled by the receiver. To begin the process, power up your transmitter. Press the I button to begin cycling through the menus. Once you get to Receiver Link Disabled, Press the plus button to bring up the enabled option. Click the F key to confirm your selection, then press the I key to return to the main screen. On the right hand side of the screen, there will be a flashing beacon that indicates that the transmitter is waiting to be paired with a receiver. Press and hold the I button on the receiver, scroll down to transmitter link, and click the enter key. Press the Enter key again to enable transmitter pairing. The receiver will search for an available transmitter. When your transmitter appears, scroll to it using the plus and minus keys and press Enter. Your receiver will then be paired with your transmitter and your transmitter ID will be displayed. Go back to the main menu. The beacon icon will be lit up if proper connection is made. You can also confirm a good connection by viewing the transmitter screen. If the beacon icon has stopped blinking, then the receiver transmitter are linked. Once the VLOC3 Pro is linked to a transmitter, the user may use the receiver to control the transmitter. First, press and hold the I button on the receiver. Scroll down to Transmitter Control and press the Enter key. You will now see the Lock310TX screen appear on the VLOC3 Pro interface. 
You can use the F key to change the frequency on the transmitter and press the plus and minus keys to increase and decrease the output level. To power off a transmitter, press and hold the power button. 